Hello everyone, you are watching the channel Incredible Facts. Ground attack aircraft belong to attack aviation and the primary purpose is to support ground troops and naval forces as well as to attack various constructions, armaments, and military equipment. As for bombers, they are used for different purposes. First of all, they are characterized by their range of operations and the number of their armament. Strategic bombers can carry bombs, cruise missiles, and ballistic missiles intended to hit strategic targets in a hostile country with bombs or missiles. Today, we have a list of the 10 best ground attack and bomber aircraft in the U.S. Army. Scorpion Scorpion is a training and combat light attack aircraft developed by Textron Company jointly with Airland Enterprises with the participation of Cessna Company. It was officially unveiled on September 16, 2013. It made its first flight on December 12, 2013. It took off from McConnell Air Force Base in Wichita, Kansas. The Scorpion's primary missions are providing humanitarian operations, patrolling land and sea borders, intercepting and escorting air intruders, and providing direct support to troops in low-intensity conflict. The inner compartment can hold up to 3,086 pounds, 1,400 kilograms, of various weapons and can also be used to hold special equipment. There are six suspension points under the wing for outboard fuel tanks, containers, guided and unguided weapons. The power unit includes two Honeywell engines with a total thrust of about 7,936 pounds, 3,600 kilograms, with an empty weight of 11,794 pounds, 5.35 tons and a maximum takeoff weight of 21,250 pounds, 9.64 tons. The two-person crew is accommodated in the tandem cockpit. A4 Skyhawk the A-4 Skyhawk has been one of the U.S. Navy and Marine Corps' most important attack aircraft for almost half a century. The U.S. Marine Corps ended the use of this type of aircraft in 1998 and the U.S. Navy in 2003. However, it continues to be part of the Brazilian and Argentine Air Forces. The Skyhawk made its first flight in 1954, and two years later, in 1956, it was accepted by the U.S. military. Since then, about 2,960 aircraft have been produced. Over its half-century history, the Skyhawk experienced a lot of combat operations. In the early stages of the Vietnam War, the U.S. Navy used them as the main light attack aircraft. The reason this light aircraft was widely used by many countries is that it could carry a wide variety of missiles and bombs, including a nuclear bomb. In the early years of Skyhawk production, this aircraft was far more advanced than many of its competitors. FB-22 Strike Raptor In 2001, soon after the F-22 fighter program began, Lockheed Martin began research to develop a bomber platform based on the F-22 airframe design. The research was intended to take advantage of the successful design and capabilities of the F-22. Such a design based on existing airframes would be faster and much cheaper than developing an entirely new aircraft. The concept was unveiled in 2002. It was planned to be a two-seat supersonic low-visibility bomber capable of reaching deep into enemy territory. The FB-22's total stealth payload was supposed to be about 15,000 pounds. 6.8 tons. This significant increase in payload would have allowed the bomber to carry up to 30 small diameter GBU-39 bombs or even larger anti-bunker bombs with a maximum weight of up to 4,850 pounds, 2.2 tons. Unfortunately, the U.S. government canceled the development of the FB-22 in 2006 after a four-year defense project. There were several reasons for this one of which was the lack of competitors that could resist such aircraft at the time, and another was the government's support for the development of bombers with greater payload capacity and greater range. F-35 
FA-18BD Hornet The Hornet is an American deck-based fighter bomber and attack aircraft developed in the 1970s. It is one of the main combat aircraft of the U.S. Navy. It is in service in several countries in Europe, Oceania, and the Middle East, and was used in military operations in Libya, Iraq, and Yugoslavia. Along with the single-seat versions of Hornets, the development of the two-seat versions FA-18B and FA-18D was conducted. The first have identical equipment and almost identical combat capabilities. The FA-18D, though, has a number of modifications and has proven itself in combat operations, including Desert Storm in 1991 and Kosovo in 1999. Two-seat Hornets were also produced for the export market. Equipment and armament are variable, depending on local requirements, but these machines are mostly the same as their U.S. counterparts. Customers for two-seat variations of the FA-18 included Finland, Switzerland, Malaysia, and Thailand. AV-8B Harrier II in 1980, McDonnell Douglas launched research on a new modification of the British Harrier vertical takeoff and landing attack aircraft named AV-8B Harrier II by the U.S. Navy. This modification was given the designation AV-8B+. It was intended to be used by both large warships and smaller ships. Primarily, it was planned to equip the AV-8B Plus with a radar control station and provide the use of anti-ship guided missiles Sea Eagle and Harpoon, Tomahawk cruise missiles, anti-submarine bombs, as well as the new AIM-120 air-to-air guided missile. Upgrades also included APG-65 radar, a night vision goggle compatible cockpit, ambient lighting, and a moving map display. The AV-8Bs are also undergoing an avionics upgrade to include GPS and a general missile warning system. The AV-8Bs are currently in service with the U.S. Marine Corps and the Spanish and Italian navies. A-10 Thunderbolt II Initially intended as a counterinsurgency aircraft to assist U.S. military forces in Southeast Asia, the A-10 evolved into a special direct air support aircraft whose primary mission was to destroy enemy armored vehicles. The first flight of the serial version A-10A took place on October 21, 1975. It entered service with the U.S. Air Force in 1977. Officially known as the Thunderbolt II, this aircraft is commonly referred to as the Warthog. The A-10 was built around the GAU-8 Avenger 30mm cannon, the most powerful cannon ever flown. The A-10 was also required to carry large amounts of ammunition for assault and to be able to survive intense anti-aircraft fire on the battlefield. Mainly armed with AGM-65 Maverick missiles in addition to a 30mm gun, the A-10 was a key player in U.S. Air Force warfare, including fighting over the former Yugoslavia. The Thunderbolt II will remain in service with the U.S. Air Force for some time to come, with the F-35A Lightning II multi-role fighter taking over. AC-130J Ghost Rider On August 5, 2015, the U.S. Special Operations Forces of the U.S. Air Force received the first Lockheed Martin AC-130J Ghost Rider fire support aircraft. Initially, the U.S. Air Force was going to convert the MC-130J Commando II Special Aircraft to the AC-130Js. However, eventually, plans were changed and now the number of AC-130Js should be 37 aircraft. The AC-130J High Precision Weapon System includes the following weapons. 30mm MK-44 Bushmaster Automatic Cannon, small AGM-176 Griffin air-to-ground guided missiles, self-aiming Viper Strike ammunition, Boeing small diameter bomb, and small caliber bombs. In addition, Lockheed Martin supplied the U.S. Air Force with a high-energy laser for installation and testing on the AC-130J aircraft. 
As reported by the company, the laser system has now finished factory test and is being prepared for ground and flight tests. The combat laser will complement the AC-130's already extensive capabilities to shoot down drones, intercept missiles, and even artillery shells, according to what the Pentagon said earlier. B-52 Stratofortress B-52 Stratofortress is an American strategic bomber of the Boeing Company used by the U.S. Air Force since 1955. The aircraft replaced the B-36 bomber. At the subsonic speed at altitudes up to 15 kilometers, it is capable of carrying various types of weapons, including nuclear. The primary mission for which the B-52 was designed was to deliver two high-yield thermonuclear bombs to any location in the USSR. The aircraft has the longest service history of all combat vehicles of strategic aviation. It was designed according to the War Ministry technical specifications of January 1946 with a range of 4,970 miles 8, kilometers, with a bomb load of 9,920 pounds. 4,500 kilograms at an average flight speed of 298 miles per hour, 480 kilometers per hour, and a top speed of 450 miles per hour, 724 kilometers per hour, at an operating altitude of 6 miles, 10.7 kilometers. Weapons are placed in the cargo compartment and on two underwing pylons. The strategic bomb armament includes thermonuclear bombs, B-53, B-61, and B-83. Missile armament consists of 10 strategic cruise missiles, AGM-86B maximum launch range 1,550 miles 2,500 kilometers, or AGM-129 2,170 miles 3,500 kilometers. B-1B Lancer B-1 Lancer is an American supersonic strategic bomber with variable sweep wings. It was developed in 1970 to 80s by Rockwell International. It has been in service with the U.S. Air Force since July 27, 1985. It was developed as a nuclear weapon carrier to replace the B-52, but in the early 1990s, the re-equipment of B-1 aircraft began to equip them with conventional weapons. The bomber has a technology of radar low visibility and a maximum speed of 950 miles per hour, 1,530 kilometers per hour. It can fly at very low altitudes with terrain avoidance. In case of emergency, a system of four individual ejection seats, ACES-2, each with its own escape hatch is used to rescue the crew. Three internal compartments can hold up to 84 MX-82 500-pound, 227 kilogram, or 24 MX-84 2,000-pound, 907 kilogram bombs, or up to eight AGM-86B cruise missiles, 24 AGM-69 short-range missiles, 12 B-28 or B-43 nuclear bombs, or 24 B-61 or B-83 bombs. Similar armament can also be placed on eight external slings under the fuselage. B-2 Spirit If anyone ever thought of holding a contest for the most unusual aircraft, the American B-2 Spirit Bomber would definitely be among the winners. This plane looks like a set of some Hollywood sci-fi movie. However, despite its outlandish appearance, the B-2 Spirit is a dreadful weapon because it was created to inflict nuclear strikes on enemy cities and military facilities. This aircraft took to the skies at the very end of the Cold War. It was designed to break through enemy air defenses, and its unusual appearance ensured maximum invisibility for enemy radars. To date, the B-2 Spirit is the most expensive aircraft in history. Including the money spent on its development, the cost per machine is $2.1 billion. The cost of its maintenance is also quite impressive. The B-52 Spirit flew at high altitudes. It dropped bombs with terrific accuracy through clouds, wind, and rain. 
According to the U.S. Air Force, the B-2 was responsible for destroying 33% of the Serbian targets in the first eight weeks of U.S. involvement in the war in Kosovo. That's all, friends. Thanks for watching. Write in the comments which of the aircraft you like the most. Also, click the like button and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any new interesting videos.